Kid Mila Falcha, how you all doing? So that's basically an Irish greeting, just means how are you? Hello. So this is the new Volt Proto skin, along with the new Diode Hammer skin and of course the Cathode Cyandana. So don't be shocked by this, but I actually like the Proto skin and the detail that's gone into it for me makes it one of the better looking Digital Extremes made skins that we've had added into the game in a long time. But of course, that's just like my opinion, man you'll have a different one. You might hate the skin, which is fine as well. The hammer skin as well is okay, I guess. It's not really my cup of tea, probably won't use it a whole lot. And the Cyandana looks like someone sneezed over my Volt's shoulder. Don't like it, not gonna use it. Now, along with the new snazzy skins in this update, we also got a few quality of life tweaks to Volt's abilities as well. Like his discharge ability now has a minimum duration of four seconds to enemies stunned by it. So it won't fall below that four seconds, no matter how low your Volt's duration is. They've also made discharge cast in air so rejoice for that and they've increased the discharges base DPS from 450 up to 750 which is a nice damage increase now they've also removed the passive 5 energy drain per second on Volt's electric shield when you're carrying it and it makes it less energy hungry but they have still kept in that one energy per second drain which in reality still makes carrying his shield a little bit hard on your energy pool now, Volt is one of those frames that a lot of the community have had issues with ever since his rework in the past. The damage cap on his discharge is one of those major problems that seem to be stopping Volt from being one of our best warframes in the game. A damage cap that no other warframe has, Nidus, Mesa, Octavia, Gara, Nova and others have no lock put on any of their abilities potential, but Volt does. So is it needed or is it not needed? And should he be seen as maybe a damage dealing warframe or just a flat outright crowd control frame? Because he has got a really nice amount of crowd control. Now, personally, I would love to see Volt's damage cap raised, not removed completely, but raise it and test it out. See how he plays out. If he is a little bit too broken, then of course, reduce it back down. But if it doesn't play out too well, if raising that cap still leaves him a really weak damage dealing frame, then you could raise it a little bit more or maybe you guys think that he shouldn't be dealing this type of damage at all and that he should be just seen as a complete not a crowd control frame let me know in the comment section below right now in his current state volt with a balanced build has got the potential to stun large groups of enemies long enough for you and your squad to wipe them out while also ticking chunks of their health off them with heavily armored targets you shouldn't really hit that health cap with discharge so it becomes purely about crowd control then but of course if they are unarmored then chances are you will hit that cap relatively quickly but how do you run volt is it just for a pure speed volt maybe you run a melee volt for mashing enemies up or maybe you run with a capacitance volt for boosting shields while also crowd controlling as many enemies as possible now i've actually been running with some of the vigilante mod set on my volt to boost certain primary weapons and of course their critical output while also shooting through his shield and i've been finding that incredibly useful and really fucking powerful if i'm being honest at the same time now let me know what you guys think of volt's new proto skin remember this isn't the deluxe skin i'm sure we'll get a deluxe skin for volt further down the line this is just his proto skin whether you like it or not or what you dislike about it if you don't like it do me a huge favor and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or don't if you didn't subscribe for more warframe and as always thanks very much for watching